This is the Excellent Sports Adventure. Brought to you by moregolf.ca. Well, they finally saw that winning streak come to an end, but Hey, the Blue Jays did get back on the rails for one game. Anyway, that's what can happen when you put the ball in the very capable right hand of Jose Barrios. Barrios with a career-high 13 strikeouts over seven innings against the Twins, bouncing back nicely from a rough start in Anaheim. Alejandro Kirk, who was just scorching hot, pounded out his fourth home run of the year. The Jays' young catcher is something else, isn't he? Vlad Guerrero Jr. provided some pop as well. Muscles, an inside pitch right out of the ball yard. Two-run shot, Vlad's 12th big bop of the season. That is some power and pitching. He dominated with all his pitches, you know, and he made it one mistake, 2-0 to a good hitter, Polanco. He took him deep, and then he made an adjustment through strikes with all his pitches. I'll tell you what, that his slider was huge today. I don't know if you guys could see it on TV, but it was like a frisbee today. So that that he got the, the lefties out for sure with that pitch. You know, then we get a chance to win every day. And you know, the one thing about Barrios, we're actually eight and three when he starts. You know, of course, he hasn't been the Barrios respected, but today it was awesome to see him uh, come back from that start in, in Anaheim and, and pitch like that today. That was that was huge. Like a frisbee, pretty awesome. The CFL's regular season opens this weekend. The Argos and Ty Cats closed out the preseason against each other. Chad Kelly hits Isaiah Wright for a touchdown. Boris Beattie kicked his fourth field goal of the game with no time left to lift the Boatman to an 18-17 victory. The Argos get a bye this week while the Cats are in Regina to open the season. Hamilton Spencer Wilcox improved to 3-0 as a pro at the Casino Montreal this past week. The talented lightweight scored a four-round decision over a tough Mexican fighter named Juan Carlos Ramirez Garcia. Now it's on to some six-rounders. Even though everyone wants a knockout, I think it was better experience doing the four rounds with an opponent like that than getting somebody I could finish the first first round or two. It was, uh, it was a good fight. We knew he was four and one. We knew he was going to be tough, but uh, I'm happy with the performance. Uh, like I said, better experience doing that than finishing them in the first round. There will be a lot to take away from. Right now my adrenaline is pretty high, so I can't... Uh, think too much about the fight but when we rewatch it i'm sure there will be a million mistakes we can fix but that's just part of the sport right now i think we're going to get a month off and probably aim for something in the end of the summer but uh hopefully in between then we can uh go some do some training camps internationally and get some more experience Visit moregolf.ca today. You'll find everything a golfer could need from balls, gloves, and clubs to custom fitting opportunities and training gear. Go to moregolf.ca and get $20 off your first purchase of $100 or more. Just enter the promo code JTSports. Sports.